What's up everybody, this is Talon Talon here and welcome back to my channel. So, this is quite a boring time of the year for me, so I decided to bring something new to this channel. And today I have you a set of Chinese Gatai or uh, Combining Megazord, if you can call it like that. This is from the show Jan Saver Orbital Vanguard. So, a little bit of information on the this show. This show is like some sort of Chinese tokusatsu, which means that like the type of movies that it use special effects on it like example being the Kamen Rider and Super Sentai of the Japanese and we have the Power Rangers so this is the Chinese attempts on their own tokusatsu and this is the fourth season of this show so the previous three seasons they are using like people with the power suit and etc but with this fourth season they changed to CG animated films so I guess this is for like saving the cost of the production and also that I don't really care because all I care for will be the toys. So here we have the, I think we can call this guy a deluxe class. This guy is called Dragon Tiger Fighting Saver. So obviously it's a combination of a tiger and a dragon which is in the Chinese culture and most of the East Eastern Asia culture. It is the four circuit beasts so we have the dragon, we have the tiger, we have a turtle, and we have the phoenix. So this is quite interesting. So this here we have a, it's called Cracking Tiger and Shaft Dragons. This is really interesting. So now I think it's time for us to show the around of the box. So this is the front and we have the clear plastic cover. And this is somewhat a little bit odd here because if you look at the art so you see the dragon is actually the dragon parts are blue but in the pr product it is green i would actually prefer this the green to the blue because the shaft dragons in chinese culture i guess would be the gem the dragons so here we have the two pilots which i do not know their name but then again the box art is blue i mean like if you look on from this angle the blue actually goes really great with the yellow and the red it's the normal, the normal setup colors of a Gundam, but I guess this is printing errors or something like that. So now let's turn it around. So here we have all the other mecha that is com going to combine to this big Jinjan robot. And here they are a triple changer. So they have three modes. They have a train, they have a beast mode, and then they can combine to a robot. And if you had combined all the five sets, so that would be the total length of the train would be 2.5. 18 meters which is really impressive and here we have the two beast mode we have the cracking tiger and the shaft dragons over here and i think it would be better to show you when i open the box so i'm gonna do this in a little bit of a reverse so i'm crack this guy's out of the box and he's in robot mode and this is the, what comes in the box so we have the dragon tiger fighting saver and we have the instruction which is a piece of paper and that just that would be it and then we have this two piece so this would be the train adapter so when you in use the train mode that they can connect to each other and form the train so now let's get to the robot itself so here we have the dragon tiger fighting server and the first thing I have to say is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna skim through the body scaling because with a gut tie mecha like this what we are focusing on is how the parts are connected and forming the robot itself rather than the body scale so of course i noticed that the hands the arms are a little bit of too short comparing to the scale of the body but to me that is fine because like i said we buy a deluxe cut tie so i don't think we want to ask too much of that i mean like the combining sequence is interesting so to me that is enough and so about uh, the colors i enjoy this color matching it is quite interesting to see white and red with a splash of green and yellow instead of blue if this is blue so we would have the normal classic color combination but instead we have this green this gem green over here so to me that is quite interesting really really interesting and so if you look at the joint the silver part and the gold part so you see that this is somewhat but this is not painted though this is like they blend in the colors they're like some sort of the metallic color into the plastic so it is not really nice looking but at least this is a good attempt so the head scope here is a little bit of a stretch here. This is still carries the same mistake as the season three Mika. So, I mean like it has got some really nice gold painting and the eye shade is really nice. But the problem here is that the mold, the mold this is not really on point. So as a result, this still look kind of fat, it look kind of chubby in the face. 
but then I guess this guy cannot ask for too much with such a cheap toy like this. So now let's get to the, the reverse combining sequence. First up, remove all the parts that you can remove. Start with the, this main body section, open up the chest and then there's this tab here, tap it in. Then you will be able to fold in the head and with this you can fold out the crane. And do the same thing with this part. Take this piece. Bring it out, then jam it onto this two size hole. Pull out this section, rotate this, then you can put this in, then bring out, and then bring this whole part rotate it like that and push it down just like so bring this section inside and you just snap them together just like that and then you have this over here I'm gonna do the same thing that will be the dragon head but this is hiding out for now because you're doing the, re the same thing over all over again And with this, you can plug it onto this connector. And we're done. So this is the Shaft Dragon in his train mode. And I mean, this is looks some sort of like, like a military train. So this is, look obviously, this is a uh, military train. You can see all this detail and the armored section with the crane and the red is obviously looks like missiles but I don't really understand how missiles will work on a railroad anyway it looks cool it is cool though so I enjoyed it this is the engine part I guess I don't know too much about train and this is a normal and decent train you got all the nice gem green on it with the black being painted which is nice and you got some gold highlight on here and that is the dragon that is obviously the dragon then the number four and if you look at the this section here that is obviously a dragon face with the two eyes being the light and then all the details that is obviously a dragon face and which is really nice which is really nice in my opinion because this highlight the concept so now to the dragon mode first up to remove this two part or out to fold in fold back the crane and then put it back Then apply, reapply this part. I think the grays here look quite nice. They're like some of like a matte gray, which is really impressive. I enjoy the gray, the gray. And with this one, you can bring out this is to be the tail section of the dragon, which is really long, by the way. And you can untap this and fold them out to form the dragon leg. And this one will just hide. It will be the dragon leg and and then bring this down to form the belly and I'm a little disappointed because of the dragon legs in this form is hollow which is really bad and then repeat the same thing with this besides this is would be the dragon's head And I just put them together using this connector. And this one over here. 
And so here we have the Shaft Dragon in his Dragon Mode. And this is a really fat dragon, to be honest with you guys. And I like the way it transformed from the train to the dragon. But to be honest, I'm quite disappointed by some details. Especially the back leg. I don't know what, what reasons that makes them being hollow like that. It really is bad looking. And other than that is all the detail we saw in the robot mode and the train mode except for the tail. I mean the tail is nice, you got some curve of it and you see the flexibility of the dragon tails. The face sculpt is the same as the hand of the robot, there's nothing too special about it. So I mean this is only a 5 toys and I think I'm gonna display him in the dragon mode because this is probably my favorite one. Now let's move on to the tiger. So with the tiger we begin with the middle train. So just rotate it like that and then just collapse them. Just like that. And here we have the simple job. Just bring it out like that. Same as this is the same as a dragon. So with this we repeat the same thing. This is a lot more simple than the dragon. And with the tiger head, we just have him hide hidden over here. Just pluck it in. And to connect them is the same. So here we have the cracking tiger in the train mode. And this is obviously a bullet train. It is nice. And of course the head is still resembling a tiger. But from this angle it looks more like a shark to me to be honest. I know like you have the gills and all that and the tiger strip. But it still looks like a shark. But anyway it is a nice train. It is probably my favorite train that this guy, the color is red, white and black with a little bit of gray and blue as highlight and details. And this is obviously like some sort of emergency train or something like that, which is really, really interesting. And I think talking about this would be more specific if I will take out one of the train and compare it like I did with the sharp dragons. So here we have the bullet train and it is nice. It, is look, it looks really nice to me. And like I said, this looks like a shark. You see the tiger logo over there. Overall, it looks menacing. It is nice if you have the tiger. And yeah, the black is some sort of matte black, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And of course, the train has the wheels, so to have some move and flat around. The wheels is really nice. Uh, I think it can be rolling really easily. That is nice. So now let's get a look at the middle, middle section of the train. So here we have the middle train, and this is only the normal. You got some sort of thruster over there, which is really weird. And you got the two alarm horns, I think, on the top. You can bend a little bit. And besides from that, this is the same. And obviously, this is a medical train, which makes sense because of the color tone. Now, I think it's get time for us to get to the tiger mode, shall we? So, remove the tiger head and split out this section. Form it like that. and bring out this tab over here and now we do the same thing as we did with the dragon they use the same transform mechanism anyway and with the tiger leg is not hollow and it got some a little bit of articulation so like that yeah repeat the same thing So now you just clash these two together and then again this will go here to form the tiger and the head will just clash into here and we're done. So the tiger form is a little bit too odd for me as a tiger. I know like this is the best they can manage because they use the train as the alternate mode between the tiger and the actual combining. But still this is looks some kind of me as some kind of winged tiger. It looks pretty odd. And so like I like I said, I probably displayed the dragon in the beast mode. But with this cracking tiger, I think I would prefer the train mode if I'm gonna if I'm gonna display them individually. I think the train mode suits better for this design. That would be it. This is a conclusion of my dragon tiger fighting saver review. So this is the second mech out of the three mechs that appears in, in this show. So I'm going to be reviewing the other two soon. And I think like despite I really don't like the tigers, but I must give the compliment to the designer that they 
utilize the train form efficiently because like we have some other series that use the train motive as a robot like Tokyo and my game but I think like the trains is not really effective as transforming robot so this is still a huge compliment from me as a toy reviewer to orderly so that is it for today so I hope to see you guys later give me a like and share and comments and if you're new to this channel subscribe and also follow me on Instagram that is where I do most of my updates and stuff and also if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link in the description below so ta-ta now